Hi class, today we're gonna use a different strategy to solve our division problems. We've already covered standard algorithm or also known as the long division method. And we've also covered our partial quotients method. So this is just one more way to look at things. In fifth grade, you are responsible for knowing all the strategies to solve division problems. But if your teacher or your test does not specify, use whichever strategy is most comfortable for you. It's my job as your teacher to expose you to different strategies and methods so that maybe you can learn a little bit easily and connect to other people on the way that they think about math problems. So let's go ahead and get started. Whenever we are solving a math problem, let's say that we're gonna solve 624 divided by 12 equals a number. It's important first that we understand what each number is referred to. So the number that's being uh, split into a group is my dividend. So I wanna make sure I label that so that we all are speaking the same language. My divisor is how many groups it's being split into. And then my quotient is the result of a division problem or the answer. So dividend, divisor, and quotient. And whenever we set up our problem, we are setting it up very similar to a long division problem. It sort of looks like we have that L. So let me show you what I mean. So we have our divisor, which is 12. And I'm drawing my, my L shape. And notice it's pretty big. That's important, so you can show your work later. So 12 goes into 624, and I'm not really sure how many times that is yet because we're trying to figure out our quotient. And it looks like a long division problem so far, but with area model, the only difference so far in setting it up is boxing it up. So that's how we start out. So we're thinking of it, 12 goes into 624, how many times? So rewriting it would look like this. 12 goes into oops, 624, and I could go to the side and hash out my scratch work, but this is similar to our partial quotient strategy. We're going to break apart the place value. So before I get ahead of myself and try to figure out how many times 12 goes into 624, I'm gonna figure out maybe how many times it can go into 600. Well, I know my times tables and I know that 12 times five gives me 60. So if I use that same mental math and I add a zero, 12 times 50 should give me 600. I know this in my head, but it's always a good idea to show our scratch work just in case. So we have 12, times 50, zero, zero, place value or placeholder, because I'm shifting over a place value. Five times two is 10, carry the one. Five times one is five, plus one is six. I add together my partial products and I get 600. So that's pretty close to 624. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. And it's really important with the area model, you remember what you multiply the divisor by. So in this problem, or this first spot of work, I did 12 times 50. So 50 is one of my partial quotients. And the next step is to take that and subtract 600. Because we did 12 times 50 equals 600. So we're subtracting 600 from 624, and I'm left with 24. Okay, so whatever my result is from my subtraction problem in my box is what's gonna move on to the next box. So that 24 is what's left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend my um, division house a little bit bigger and I'm gonna write my new number or my new dividend, which is 24, in my new box. 
So I already know because of my times tables that 12 goes into 24 two times, but it's always a good idea to show our work, <clears throat> especially if our teacher is asking us to. So just to make it on the safe side, two times two is four, two times one is two. So it's 24 and 24, looks like it checks out to me. I am gonna go ahead and circle my partial quotient because I multiplied the divisor by what number? I multiplied 12 times two. So the two goes on top. And then I put my answer from my partial products or from just my product uh, over here. So I subtract it out. And my answer left over, there's no remainder, is zero. So that means that I'm done. I box it up. Now, my final step, if you circled this right here, your teacher might not give you full credit. What your teacher is looking for is for you to add up your partial quotients. So if I add 50 plus two, two plus zero is two, five plus nothing is five. So my final answer or my quotient is 52.